Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a Town Hall 9 live base build video. If you're a Town Hall 10 and you've been looking for a Town Hall 10 one of these, don't worry, I'm also going to do a Town Hall 10 uh, base build as well, so you guys will have both of those. Um, the Town Hall 10 one should be out probably this week uh, at some point or another. And uh, today, I'm going to do my best for you guys. Uh, on my main account, I, my other account doesn't have all the new defenses and stuff. Um, it is like a baby Town Hall 9. So um, I did take out all the things that are Town Hall 10. And yes, my, my uh, defenses are going to be a few levels too high. Um, but hopefully that won't be too distracting. If it is, let me know and I can probably make arran arrangements to use a Town Hall 9 account. But it just makes it easier for me. So um, let me know if, if this is acceptable and what you guys think. But um, I'm just going to start building the base kind of a little bit towards the uh, top right to stay away from this area. And uh, this is, you know, I don't have a whole lot of knowledge of Town Hall 9. But people have been asking for this and I'm going to do my best for you guys. Uh, so let's just get right into it. I have a few theories as to, as to what the best types of bases are. And to me, it's a compact base that's important and a base that doesn't allow access to the core. And I say that because if you look at La Luna attacks, if you look at, um, if you look at, um, what is the term, stoned hobo attacks, if you look at attacks like those, they all tend to involve taking out the core of the base, really getting a central grip and getting deep into the base with the kill squad. There are some less ground-based air attacks that use, you know, four lava hounds, but there's other ways to defend against those. I think the main thing is keeping a very segmented base, so to speak. So I'm just going to put my uh, CC down in the middle. I'm a big fan of putting it in the middle. I don't like putting it, you know, way offset like some people do. I think it just makes it too easy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off the CC. Um, air sweepers are very, very important at this point in the game um, with so many air attacks going on at Town Hall 9 right now. So I'm going to put those guys down um, pretty much right away. I'm going to go ahead and probably have my queen towards the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an air defense here so I can keep it a little bit away from her. Um, so we'll have an air defense there. I guess we can do like an archer tower right up in this area. Maybe a cannon over here and uh, just start to close stuff off a little bit. Um, we'll make this its, uh, its own compartment right like that. We can just close off the air defense and the archer tower. Um, close off this other sweeper. We can go up one actually. Might as well. And then um, go ahead and do the uh, the cannon right here. So I think just like this, um, like I said, a very uh, segmented uh, small compartment core is going to be your best bet. Make them use the jump spells. Um, that's going to take away spells that could be otherwise used for other things and have some of the outer compartments a little bit bigger. Uh, not as big of an issue uh, in the outer compartments. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and put the queen here. Let's put the uh, DE storage right here to kind of protect her. Um, I would say we could put an expo here, but let's just focus mainly on our cannons. We can throw probably a wizard tower here. I want her to be well protected, that's very important, but at the same time, uh, I don't want to, you know, waste too much room on her, so we can go like that, around like that. I actually can make that one farther out even, so we can fit some buildings there. Um, and we'll make this go like that. Put our wizard tower right there. And these walls always annoy me, um, but they are an improvement from when the game first started. Uh, cannon, go ahead and just put another cannon here, and then, uh, then we can do like an archer tower, archer tower, kind of like how I used to make my Town Hall 9 bases almost, uh, with this kind of setup like this. Okay, so that seems pretty solid. Um, move that out a little bit. I think we're good to go towards the bottom there. Um, from here we can just expand upwards. Um, probably get these air defenses in. They're probably the most important thing right now um, at Town Hall 9. One of your most important defenses. So we can, I guess we can keep a possible double giant bomb spot by that cannon. I just it, The opportunity presented itself so might as well um, at least have the possibility for an attacker. I think you can fit a double giant bomb set there. Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, we can have a possible spot right there. And uh, put our fourth air defense 
out in that direction, like right here. Okay, things are actually looking pretty good here. Um, the expos should be pointed up. I think that's pretty important. Like I said, air attacks are a big, a big deal right now. So I'll put the expos kind of on either side of the base like that. Um, what else can we do here? Um, we can kind of just, what I used to do at Town Hall 9, maybe I'll just do this for this video, is kind of close off the compartments now. Now, you know, um, and I got rid of the extra walls, obviously, for Town Hall 10. Close off the compartments, then place the less important defenses. I think I'm going to keep my king on the opposite side of the base, um, somewhere around here, by the way. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But let's close off these compartments, trying to keep the CC in mind, too. Don't want it to be too easily lurable. Um, so we'll go kind of up like that, and we can use spare walls as needed once this is all done. Uh, I want to keep these air defenses nice and in small compartments. Don't want an easy like you know drop the king down, wall breaker him in, take out an air defense. That's that's too easy on some bases. So I want to definitely avoid that. Um, let's slide our king up one, close off this air defense uh, like that. Okay, um, so the air, air defenses are all pretty secure right now. Now we can just do like an outer layer of walls in some locations. So we can uh, go up like that and around here like so. Same thing over here like that. And thinking of a possible Tesla farm location as well, because um, I made a video on that pretty recently, actually. Tesla farms, good idea. Definitely a good idea uh, for a lot of Town Hall 9 bases. We're a little bit tight on walls, to be completely honest, but I think uh, we can kind of, we can probably pick some up, you know, just uh, scratching around here for some extra ones, finish off some of these compartments. Tried to keep the air defenses protected, and I think I did a pretty good job uh, keeping them somewhat protected from queen walks. Actually, um, at this point, that's probably excess having uh, any kind of walls in that area. Um, the queen already is semi-exposed. I'll put the town hall there to help defend her, but there's no point trying to overdo it with walls. The compartments are still going to be in the way, even if we slide things back a little bit. Um, so I'll put the town hall there. Uh, and that's a Town Hall 9, just try to picture that, I guess. Uh, then we'll put a wall here. We have one wall left. Um, maybe move this out one. Like that. Uh, these air defenses are a little bit sketchy, to be honest, as far as being reached by a queen walk. So we'll, we'll keep in mind if there's other ways we can scratch out some walls from certain places. Um, you know, I might have to take these three. They're, I don't like doing it because it is making the base a little less uh, or a little more accessible, but I don't think that'll hurt too much. These are two small compartments, and even adding them together, it's still a pretty small compartment in the core there. So probably not the biggest deal. Um, don't want to go too extreme with the walls around there. Uh, can a queen take out these two air defenses is the question. They seem to be about equidistant from the walls around them. Uh, this one, if you slide it down like that, it's actually on that uh, layer of walls. If you slide this one down, it's one behind. So I think this one's a little more exposed. We'll give it a, some love from an extra wall. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll move this last wall out one more just to ensure there's no queen walks. Um, Probably not that big of a deal, but if people can drop down the queen, even without healers, and take out one of your air defenses, that can put you uh, at a disadvantage as well. Um, okay, let's throw the king over in this area. I don't want him too exposed. I think he'd do better in one of these bigger compartments over here. He can also kind of guard one of the uh, maintenance break in five minutes. All right. Challenge accepted guys. Let's bang this one out five minutes. Do I have my iPad? I do. I can set a timer right now um, All right five minutes to finish this video. I think it's doable. Uh, I have to talk a little bit faster move a little faster the timer started uh, Okay, is that gonna go away? Nope. All right. Let's see if we can bang this one out guys um, What else do we have to talk about Tesla farm location? That's probably the next most important thing We want to keep the Teslas away from the air defenses um, I think, yeah, they can't reach any air defenses there, really. Um, slide these over one. 
and to keep these protected we have like a storage right here um put like an archer tower right here maybe like a cannon uh right here and then we can put like a third tesla right here that's a tricky little tesla farm as usual i want to put some hp out in front of it don't make it too conspicuous we'll have you know hp in other locations as well to throw people off too um, and also gaps on the outside of the base i talked about all of that in my tesla farm video so check that out for sure um i'm just kind of panicking a little bit got to get this finished all right um wizard tower is probably another good location here we can put some air traps in that area as well um, just kind of filling in archer towers around the outside of the base now. Uh, we'll put one there. I can throw that in there. And I have one final archer tower here. Uh, any other cannons? Oh, bomb tower. Almost forgot. Um, I don't think it's that important of a defense. It kind of represents a giant bomb in a way. So, because uh, it does detonate and do pretty much the same amount of damage as a giant bomb, roughly, I think. So, we'll put it right there. We'll put a storage in front of it. Um, keeping in mind, we also want to have some spring trap locations, but those kind of make themselves naturally. Uh, wizard tower here, wizard tower here. Uh, we have room for mortars if we want them. We can also throw the mortars on the outside of the base. I don't think they're that important. Just want to focus on the essentials. And by the way, got to do a troll test though. Why not? Um, I think it's important. I think it helps definitely at town hall nine. Um, okay. Let's move that over one. I'd say let's just put a single, ugh, these walls are moving on me. A single giant bomb right here. Actually, this made itself a good double set. So should we do it? No, we'll put a single bomb there. I don't want to risk with a double set because it sometimes doesn't even kill hogs. We'll just kind of spread these guys out. Mass hogs haven't been working that well, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, we're still going to, you know, be very very careful conscientious conscientious of uh certain types of hog pathing and stuff and uh we'll put one final one i guess in that area um so that's a pretty decent location we can throw a spring there spring probably in around there uh let's see we're at about two minutes left before the break hits me um not not always a bad idea to put one by the queen then most importantly by this test the farm that's a good place to have spring traps. Um, we can kind of double trap right there. That'll get a lot of hogs flying, and then maybe one like right there. Uh, that's pretty good. As far as air traps, um, before I get cut off here, uh, let's put a seeking air mine. One for dragons, or actually no, no, not for dragons. Well, the air defenses are pretty offset, so dragons are a possibility. Let's keep one there, and then we're going to go ahead and double up in one location, which I think we can do. Uh, go ahead and double up on this guy right here. One, two, and we'll throw one over here on this air defense right there. Skelly traps, probably to help defend the queen. We'll put one towards the bottom and then one up towards the top if they come from the other direction. Uh, these, you know, you know the drill with these guys. Just put them on the, uh, by the Tesla farms, by the wizard towers, try to keep them away from the air defenses. All that good stuff. Single bombs up to you. You can use them to kill wall breakers. So let's just assume we use these to kill wall breakers. Uh, obviously don't put them all together, but just put them in random spots where you think wall breakers might go down or inside the base to add to a double giant bomb set if you have them. Mortars would go around the outside of the base to kind of screw up some golem pathing, assuming you don't want to put them inside your base, which I don't think we're going to do for this base. Uh, I want to zoom out to give you guys the full picture before I get cut off here. Um, we'll show the walls. I might have one wall left over. Actually, no, I think I got rid of it. That's what the walls look like. So a pretty compact base. Um, I think I used everything all around pretty solid. Hopefully I didn't miss anything too big. Um, could have thrown in a storage maybe into this compartment right here or something. But keep in mind for this Tesla farm, it can be a little bit conspicuous. So uh, I'm, if I had more time, I probably would have made this look like a Tesla farm more. Maybe put a gap out here for possible locations on the outside as well to try to throw people off. A lot of this is misdirection, but definitely have that troll Tesla. I think that's important. And I just hit the five minute mark, but I haven't been kicked off yet. Um, I think they said maintenance break in five minutes. Uh, I think that's what the message was saying. So uh, I guess I'm lucky in that sense. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I think I'm still recording even though I disconnected. Yeah, the recording software is still going. Um, so that's going to be it.
uh, maintenance brake hits. Got it done in time. You guys saw the base uh, zoomed out, so I'm happy about that. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, I should be doing a town, <coughs> excuse me, a town hall ten base uh, build as well uh, sometime in the near future. So be looking for that too. Let me know what you think of the base in the comments below. I'll look forward to seeing that, and I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you like the base. Bisectatron out.